Nakapiripiri district in Karamoja sub-region has only two secondary schools. One of them, Nakapiripiri Seed Secondary School in Kakamongole sub-county, opened in 2007 and offers only all-level education. The school has four classrooms, which accommodate 192 students. The number of students, though, fluctuates depending on their parents' mood. To ensure maximum attendance, the community and school came up with a unique measure. This school covers a catchment area of over 90 kilometers, with some of the students coming from as far as Kwen District and Nabilatuk District. However, the majority of the students come from behind that mountain, which means to access the school, they have to climb the mountain, walk through the valley, and come to school. The learning environment is also poor, in that some of the students sleep in the same classrooms in which they study. The school has no boarding facilities. The classrooms serve as dormitories. Bed sheets separate the learning area from the sleeping area. For decency, the girls sleep in the staff room. In the absence of I mean the dormitories, where would you expect us to keep them? Because if we don't do that, one, the school will not have children. Because sometimes when you, you happen to send them back at home for one reason or the other, they can take even a month without coming back and they come back only at the time of doing exams. Last year, the best student scored 44 points in the Uganda Certificate of Education examinations. This year, of the 15 who have enrolled for senior four, only four are girls. These dormitories have affected mainly the, the girl child. The, the, the parents are not, uh, uh, when they bring their children here and they see the sort of environment where they, their children are going to sleep, then they, for them they just uh, choose not to bring them this. Uh, uh. The school does not have a science laboratory or textbooks, yet science subjects are compulsory. A few years ago, the government delivered chemicals for science experiments. They have since expired. So where we don't have uh, beakers, we use the, uh, these bottles here, just cut, then you use this as a beaker in the teaching of science. Shitumi Seed Secondary School in Bumashete sub-county in Bududa district faces the same challenges. When it comes to sciences, students perform their experiments in the classrooms. The equilibrium can be obtained from either direction. Sodium hydrogen carbonate here, it's expired. What do you do with these chemicals Just that throw are, away. We, we throw? Where do you throw them? In, in the latrines. The Uganda Certificate of Education results for 2018 list Nakapiripirit and Bukwo among the districts with the least number of students in Division 1. Bukwo had one student, while Nakapiripirit had none. Meanwhile, the failure rates in 2017 UCE exams show Bukwo had 28%, while Bududa had 18%. The Ministry of Education admits that since 1997, it has been overwhelmed by the number of students countrywide. Education Ministry Under Secretary Agre Chibenge says government is investing in constructing schools. It is uh, true that up to now, we've not yet covered the entire country uh, with the required structures and facilities. The learning environments in both schools do not foster a desire for education. For instance, there is no fuss around Nakapiripiri Seed Secondary School and students saunter in and out at any time of the day. When one student goes like today Monday, he will come back on next Monday. At Shitumi, on the two weekly market days and during the harvest season, students abandon the school to engage in business, especially buying and selling of coffee. I know my other them on Sundays. Then if on Monday I woke up very early at 4 p.m., then I take for them and at exactly 11 I'm back at home. In Bukwo District, on the side of the steep Kokoyong Hill in Rio Sub County, we stumbled upon a dual purpose structure. At night, it is a kraal, but at daybreak, it turns into Kokoyong Community School. What is the name of your school? No walls separate the classrooms, which run from nursery to primary four. The primary four students sit in the open. What are you studying today? 
So these primary four students, what subjects do you teach them here? We teach them maths, English, SST, science. The school was set up by residents because there is only one government school in the entire sub-county. In Bukwa district, now that the rains have begun, the bridges are collapsing. Collapsed bridges mean high absenteeism levels. This in a district where only three secondary schools have science laboratories. Gillian Nantume, NTV Tonight.